live live from the Marikina Sports Center. What do you think is happening here, Coach Butit? Bakit nagsimula si Coach John Callis ng tatlong non-usual starters? Well, yeah, no? uh, very interesting. Kung ano ang plano dito ni Castro, Coach John Callis. But I know, Coach John Callis, a very competent coach, a very crafty coach. So, tingnan natin what is up uh, sa sleeves niya. I like this matchup. Ramirez versus Jimenez. Ramirez, a uh, feisty perimeter defender against one of the uh, one of the best offensive force in the Serbia right now. Tricky Perovigan, missing off the shot. Rebound, Belal Sumahor. You can hear their crowd. He came all the way from their city, traveling to Marikina. Ramirez for three. That's good. The last time I covered an RJ Ramirez game, he went on to score 20 plus points. Did not miss any shots. I covered that with you. I remember that game. Yes. Here's Kitty Venice, catch it fire, bombs away! Oh wow! This is going to be an exciting ball game, Bukang! Palita ng tira! Ay, pula ng defensa! Okay lang, magbigyan na natin, pasang score na sila parate! We have to be thankful for Sangani and Bahor, as Mark Magwana makes another three. We mentioned, walang marikina na maglalaro tonight, but this sure feels like a home game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you, kay Nikita Narinig. Ang ingay sa paligid natin, it's so hard. Oh my God, it really looks like a home game. It sounds like it feels like a home game. Bahor, 2-3, looking to get back on the winning column. Sarangani, 5-2, looking to snap the two-game skin. As Tommy Ninan makes the third three for Bahor in this game. One of the professional shooters in the MPBL. Pero aside from Mark, yung kaampi niya, parating niya itong kaampal sa pensa. Si Montuano also hitting a three-point shot. Itong dalawa, burly forward. Pero can shoot the lights out. Those two are uh, two of the main things. The Bahor, from the previous season, what was a star-studded striker squad. Ramirez, mid-range, no go. So, so far, three-point shot pa lang. Ang uh, nakukonvert, ng parehong kumpunan. Jimenez again, no go. Rebound belongs to Sarangani, and that is two points for kay Paolo Quirinales. Well, Paolo Quirinales, may two journey man niya nung college days niya, no? But he is an able player. I just don't know how... Ngayon lang natin siya nakita sa MPBL, so let's see what he can show dito sa pagkakato na binigay sa kanya ni John Callios. Matuano cannot answer back. Chats here for Sarangani. Lead down to four. Just two and a half minutes gone by in the opening quarter. Jimenez again. No go. Well, ito lang. No, paminsan, Kid Jimenez nadadala ng uh, excitement ng crowd. Sometimes uh, falling to the trap of hoisting those uh, mga ill-advised three-pointers. Inside, Bahor goes. Here's Erlan Upad. Blocked. Great defense by Rick Onan. On the other end, Pero Vigan oh, trying to yeah. bustle his way. And there's the foul. Baseline inbound for Sarangani. Anticipating the pass to Pinabani in Kamaya. It has a great block done by Koana. Ang laki ni Pino Upad, eh, no? Upad is one of the most energetic players you see on the court. Very loud as well, communication-wise. One of the proud home runs of Bacoor City. Here's Paul Sanga. Another three. No go. Rebound of Pad. Well, kung may professional shooter in Mark Pangilingan dito ang Bacoor, of course, hindi natin pwede kalimutan si Paul Sanga sa kapila. Paul Sanga being brought from Caloacan to Sarangani by his head coach, John Callios. Silang dalawa ni Danny Parilao ang main stage ni Coach John. Yeah, of course, you go to the players na you trust and know by heart. So, sila mga, yeah, si Parilao at saka si Paul Sanga. Ivan Ludovice is set to check in para sa Sarangani. 9 to 5 hour score. Almost steal it. There's a matchup that you've been wanting to see. Jimenez will drive. Oh, what a layup. He's gonna get it to go. I think Vicks ang nagiging problema lang ni Kitty Menes eh. Parang siya na lang. And if we sa pre-game sinabi natin ay he has been not about himself dito sa larong ito. But ngayon parang siya na lang ang siya for Saranggani which I think papalitan to yung estilo. Approach si Jimenez by Coach John Gallo. On the other end, Mark Pangilina trying to make it about himself. Two three-point shots to his face. As Jimenez will get the foul. 
and say you say not run Then I'm gonna pop each other blood I'm gonna go Phoenix like the sun I'm gonna go down and run it up And they know it's just as done Keep this bitch just like one Yeah, bite me The original professional shooter at MPBS 44% from three-point area Today he's still at a hundred But he averages just three three-point takes per game He is almost there As Ivanta Dovice checks in for the first time The usual starting point guard for some guy And it's very interesting why Coach John Carlos been asked for Dovice I think Ivanta said because of experience I think he can play better off in Kitty Menes And maybe compliment Kitty Menes well, he has been excellent in this season, 16, 16 and a half points per game. Number 5 in the league, 74% shooting from the line with 3.7 makes per game. That's number 4 in the league. You got to look at the 3 point shooting. All of their points have come from downtown. Here's Paul Saga. He can't answer. Rebound Ramirez. Well, sometimes kay Paul Sanga, you just have to live and die with Paul Sanga. Pamisan, first three quarters, halos ko lang pa-shoot. Bigas a fourth quarter. He's a streaky three-point shooter. Ito si Paul Sanga. Well, we have seen him light it up time and time again here in the MVPL. The blocking foul will be called against yeah. RJ Ramirez. Whoa. Where we at now? I don't really got no time to play around. Uh, wow. By uh, RJ Ramirez, you know. too close to ball, so our rep is called the block. So kita nang timing eh. And then, you know, the timing, but again, it's just too close to ball. Kahit sa slow mo, parang hindi pa na talaga sigurado kung anong pwede yung tao. But RJ Ramirez, yung paa niya was not planted early on the floor. Kaya siya natawag yung block and ball. Some substitutions here, Gabby Espinas checking in, alongside Lester Reyes. So it's even thick though that Sarangani also adds it, but better as like Gabby Espinas in the offseason. Wow, what a luxury if you have uh, Gabby Espinas playing for you. Because you have a steadying presence of post, and he is actually a great passer of the post. There's a foul against Maguana as Paul Zanga went flying to the baseline. He did not shoot the basketball though. Rob the Miz, Bakor is in penalty. Maybe because of the heat, the court, so they have a little bit of an extra minute to be back. Let's see if we can help them. Let's see if we can help them dominate in the first game against Mutiluba because they had a deep, deep bet. That's a charge against Chikaura. They are charging your mix because the Sarangani player, Chikaura, did not give a little breathing room for Steven to move. Binang ganyan eh. Then again, as Red Stevens also a master in those kinds of plays, we all know how feisty he is on the defensive end of the floor. Pangilinan onto Ramirez. They're up by three here. All three point shots so far. Para sa Bacoor, could not make that one. Ludovice, over halfway done in the first frame, Ivan will fire, and no bounce for him, rebound for Reyes. Well, the game is exciting, may halong defensa, offensa, some four shots here and there, so I think both teams just playing out, yeah. and then they're gonna settle down for the second, second quarter. Jimenez, no go on the quick shot. Kitty Ben is struggling here in the first quarter. Pangilina catch and fire. No go. 
Rebound sa Ragani Parang may lakad si Mark doon Nagmamadali doon sa free push Isa pa to Jimenez with another miss Low percentage para kay Kim Jimenez here in the first quarter Ball sang as well As it found the bottom of the net Six on the shot clock Taragani down by three With the Vise That's another call Off of the screen Oh! That's another charge Oh! Oh, I think it was Stevens. Oh, what? Oh, and there. Tignan natin dito. Mga naisahan ni Stevens doon. Ang saranggali. It was a good screen. Hindi namang gumalaw. Hindi gumalaw yung screener. Stevens got the better of saranggali at that time. You did see the right forearm wrap around. Hindi kay Kaudan. Substitutions here, Pablo Pasco checking in alongside Jordan Santaan, Lorna Scobar And we also have Salvador Galit, J.R. Galit For the first time, yan ang walk na walk na Gagal sa akin Warning tayo dito, for both benches A little bit too excited to start the power match Sorry Coach Santaan, I'll just share this pleasure Doon sa lahat sa blocking foul doon Sa screener niya Dahil pa rin daw, it's also in the ballgame Ganit Si Juji Haliare Then on the shot clock, here's Paolo Castro We go to Reyes up top, Lester will fire Rebound, great hustle by Juji Haliare could not control the ball And there's the foul on the loose ball mula sa Kaloocan using the first one of the hardest working people na nakilala ni Coach John Calios here in the MPBL Ay, Wala ka lang masasabi dyan ito kay Danny Marilaw He has really given as much as he could given uh, what he has ano, with the, sa kanyang uh, repertoire He gets the board here 12 to 9, napako na ang ating score with 3 minutes remaining in the first Sabi ko nga Migs, medyo excited They're just letting things play out They're gonna settle down for the next second quarter To the Vise Getting his man back The spin Slip for a while No go, rebound J.R. Galit Andretti Stevens Kick out It ends up with Santa Ana And that's a foul against J.R. Galit Just as we display that graphic, Lester Reyes will score the first two point shot of Bacoor. Gabby Espina knows down. It ends up with the Duvise. Three white shirts in front of him. Four on the shot clock. Santa Ana drives. They go to Marilao. Sorry, miss. On the other end, Galit. Half inside. 
Pagliari, on the reverse, no go Alam mo, makes you think that the horse race Parang ganun eh, no? Pero parang, wala lang tumutok pa Exciting lang, pero walang Walang accuracy sa laro pareho Ang ating opponents Ever since the start of this game Our players have pissed from all over the floor A steal there, but a foul again JR got it Huwag kang susundot You reach, I teach ka nga dito Di ba dito ko piso eh That means Ludovic will go to the line for two. Or dito si Luis Abi ni Galen, si Sir Nakuanya bola. Yes, bola ang nakuha. No, I mean, matulog sa angles ng ating game referee. Nung natulog si Ludovic, may nakaharang na isang player ng saranggani sa vision do ng referee. Kaya medyo siguro kaya akala niya, nakita niya, natamaan, nakaya na hulog si Ludovic. But to sa slow mat angle natin, didn't look like it. Van Ludovice used to star for the Pasay Voyagers alongside Jan Hamon. Then he transferred to the Davao Occidental Tigers. What a star-studded team that was. Now he takes his talents to Sarangani. What a turnaround, Coach Putin, for this uh, Sarangani squad last year or in 2019. Remember, they only had one win in the whole MEVL season. Now they're one of the Tigers. Yeah, no, from uh, controversial to... But then there's, as we should say, number three in the South Division, trailing the undefeated Batanga City Embassy Chill and the Zamboanga Family Grand Star Games. Back inside, intercepted. Could not be completed by Sarangani. So it's going to be a baseline inbound for the Hoar. Well, umusog ng konti yung score. Pareho plus two points na. Time out dito ang Bako Or and what has been a fast-paced first quarter. Minute and 16, our score, 14 to 11. Makikita mo, Mix, ano ang mananalig ni Two Nights Ball Game? Yung opensa ng Sarangani o yung depensa ng Bohor? Yun yung maganda na yung abangan in this match. So far, wala pa ang katinalig ko sa Mutin because it is a really low scoring ball game, 14 to 11. Well, it's a leading towards Bohor. Depends on the defense, 17 points. That's 17. Brock to the D in a quarter. Another offensive foul, nakuha niya, nabait niya dito sa screener ng Sarangani. Mukhang problema rito ang screen pag si, uh, eto si Andre D. Stevens ang humahabol sa shooter. He got two already, two fouls mula kay Enrique Gaunan and then the first one from Danny Marilao on that previous play. Here's Paolo Castro, defended by Donald Gumaru. Reyes was asking for it, under a minute remaining here in the first quarter. Stevens against two defenders. That's a steal by Jordan Santana. Two on two. Santana all the way. And he's fouled. But that was an amazing penetration by Jordan Santana. That was a good one. That Two rebounds, six out of eight shooting in their previous outing. Very efficient. 
unfortunately for Sarangani, this has also been a story. The free throw shooting has not helped them. Very efficient, yeah. Bangkit ko pila. Kapit sa tira. What is happening dito for Sarangani right now? Second free throw is also. Oh, it bounces in para sa Sarangani with the delight of the crowd here. can score in bunches. Streaky shooter, amazing side steps when he penetrates. Tingnan natin ano maibibigay pa niya rito sa cost ng Bacor. Big Daddy, two-point shot para kay Paolo Castro. Second remaining here. Donald Gumaru, no go. One second to go. And that's gonna do it, folks, for our high-octane first quarter here in your second yeah. game wow. of your MPBL we'll Friday back and forth we go. A lot of misses for both of our squads, but both of it is Bacomor taking control. But ito, no? Pinasin mula ni RJ Ramirez. I think it's one of uh, his challenge na natapat sa kayo si Kit Jimenez. Kaya ayan, nagpalit na lang ng 3 points itong si mga dalawang nagpukulit ito. Si RJ Ramirez and Kit Jimenez. But nung tao, nung kwano, and itong si Mark Pahilingan. Alam mo na natin kung anong kaya gawin ito. Bruce Brothers ang itsura, pero 3 point shooters pala. And those are, or that is the main factor why Bamor has a 5 point lead, 17 to 12, that's the one. Start the season before dropping the previous two. That's a great point, though. 
And I want you to chime in on that first Do you think that this is a young squad in Saragani That they have so much more to learn in the MVP Just as Coach John Cali said Well, I don't, I don't think that they're that young no, I think they're experienced enough They have young pieces But dynamic naman yung mga young pieces nila But overall, their roster is built for success dito sa MPBL And ano pa pwede nilang may uh, problema hingan? They're still 5-2 right now So napakaganda ng kanilang position sa standings It's just building uh, building momentum going into the playoffs One game at a time And to your point, they lost against Nueva Ecija and Zamboanga Those teams haven't lost this mean, season Lahat naman ng teams na kinalaman ng Nueva Ecija at Zamboanga Tinalo nila eh diba? So nothing to be ashamed of if you're Sarangani But again, game after game for Sarangani yeah. Leading wow. to the playoffs, they have Where to get better now? If they want to win against the likes of Nueva Ecija and at Zamboanga They were actually the first team to lose by single digits Against Nueva Ecija and they brought Zamboanga to overtime Donald Gumar, Sarangani down by three here. Pass inside. Reggie Boy Basivas could not score. Still, a baba na porcheto. Sarangani on the floor. And medyo nakalimutan ni Basivas na open. Sa other side, ito si Gabi Spinas. Because tumabay lahat. Nangapang all defenders kay Basivas. Nakalimutan niya yung drop pass. Pass inside. Destacamento. Seven on the shot block. And still on the shot against Gabi Spinas. That is a foul against Jordan Santana. Almost a steal there, remember, Bakoor has to be careful of their third over, so especially by Nika Abizami. Ayaw nila ang makasampung third over. To the Vise, step back, three, that's good! At ayun na, nag-settle down si Kit Jimenez, did not force any shot, actually found a wide open in front of the Vise, other corner for the three. That tie sticks up, 17 all. After Bakoor has taken over since the early part, of the game, RJ Ramirez, sasagot para sa Bacor. Pero yun, ang kapasin-pasin, I think RJ Ramirez is taking this personally against Kid Jimenez. Every time Kid Jimenez takes a shot, aggressive din sa other end si Ramirez. Here he is once more, defending Kid. They go inside to Gabby Espina. Against Edson Magisa. Jimenez losing space. Getting the foul. Well, if you're that tall, katulad ni King, King na lang, di ko na sabi ang pinito. Naisahan ko na yan eh. But, you can't be able to win one of Torini Jimenez with that shot pick. Take a look at our three-point shot brought to you by Xtreme, one-stop shop appliances. Ivan Ludovice with a step-back three. Badly needed by Sarangani after an awful start in terms of shooting in this game. Well, you just have to keep on shooting until it falls and then find that rhythm para to be consistently in the game. Where we are now? But it's on two free throws by Jimenez. Because King, there's Destacamento. Oh, Destacamento. You're going to get to the fake. 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 Seven points for Ike Timeres. Averaging 4.9 fouls received per game. Number two in the league. And that's just behind Tito Elorde. Jensen. Edson Magisa. Post up. And he will score. Ito ang sasabi natin, ito si Magisa, pwedeng puntahan din ito. Parang Gabi Espinas for Sarangani. Once more, pareho pang kaliwete. Lamigia, Lamigia, Magisa, Magisa, at saka si Gabi Espinas. Here's RJ Ramirez. 
hook shot. That's good. Right now, Coach Wooden, no three-point shots coming in for Bacoor, but their two-point shooting has been on point. Alam mo, nakita ko kanina nung pre-game natin, nag-warm up pa, di ba? Dinapitan tayo ni Ramirez, dinapitan pa. Mukhang naalala siya, uy, ito yung dalawang career game ko. Mukhang career game na naman si RJ ngayon. Let's see if he can continue. It's Pinas, basket and one. Sayang yung mag-isa doon, ano, katakas na yung kamaray ko, defensive stand. At the very end of his Pina shot, no, si Paul Pata. Take a look at the replay. Gabby is getting the under recovery. Getting the clap from the Sarangani crowd here. And Parikita. Parikita earned a good spot. And Martin and Dodd enjoyed RJ and Alides. JR got it. And Miguel Malabag. On the other hand, Paul Tava. Back to the V6. Nine points by RJ Ramirez beating Kit Jimenez on that play. That guy catching fire here in the second frame. Four point lead for Bacoor, 25-21. Six and a half remaining before halftime. Pushing, they have is too strong and he will go back to the line. 
yung difference right now. Parang si Ramirez, parang biglang nag-cool down. No? Nag-cool down sa kanyang offense. Yeah. Well, ito naman si Kitty Menes. Patuloy ang atake. Even now, on defense, naging aggressive na rin siya. And then, ito, Ivan Ludovice has been consistently playing well dito sa first half. Ludovice, as soon as he was fielded in by Coach John Calios, they were able to stabilize their offense. Kitty Menes took a lot of shots in the first quarter, but he's getting most of his points from the line. Well, like because of the way he attacks aggressively. Yeah. Na pipilitan ko pala. Very crafty. Where we are the defender sa alangan ng mga pwesto. Which I get some foul. Kaya natin free throw siya matalas. Second free throw is good. Nine points para kay Kitty Menes. So it's Jimenez and Ludovisa leading the way. And then Steve is RJ Ramirez on the baseline. He's gonna mop that up. Obviously, very unintentional. Sarajan is asking, outside one of the sins. Take a look at it. Ramirez went inbound, he was stiff at the baseline. You know what does that? Intentionally, so he's giving a lot of support to the ball. A lot more responsibility for the second year Where he had to do it 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 Presence is my being, yeah, stop it, I'm on it, I see it, my options, I flip it, and pop it, I'm asking for no comments, I'm just being honest, cause I always progress, your comments, my worst shit, and my worst shit, your best bitch, yeah, I've been around since it's not, but let's see how we feel, it's just a situation, yeah, I've been around since it's not, but let's see how we feel, it's just a situation, yeah, the Vises posting up against Eric Acuña, two veterans in the MPBL. The Vises could not make the reverse layup. The three bounded by Macor. Great defender by Acuña. And actually, Acuña, sa sabi ko has been playing well as a playmaker. Bagong siya na turnover. Almost a monster's rebound by Kitty Menes. Another miss from Paul Sanga. He's been struggling today. Forward pass, Pangilinan for three. No go. On to the other end we go. Numbers for Sarangani. Paul Sang has turned to fire. Another miss. At yun siya sabi natin kay Paul Sanga. Open three, hindi niya ma-shoot. Bilang mamaya, katulad ni Mark, open. Knocks him down. Mark Pangilinan with his third three-pointer in the ball game. Lead back with Bacor. Mula ng 3 points talaga, Vix. Yun lang ang sabi natin. That has been the bread and butter of Bacohor in the first two quarters of play. Espinas, foul away from the ball. That's called against Mark Pangilinan. Ang sinasabi ng anak ko eh. Dahil ba't ba mga basketball players? Ang kakaroon na daw, marahilig po maxi. I can see here. Nakakaroon ng hawakan. Pero si Paul Saga! And the way he acted there, oh, it's a party of fun. Tapos na yung tama, saka siya kayo na yung... Sometimes, eh, yung mga wisdom na mga bata, yung... On point. Yeah, that's true. Children never lie. I promise you, yung mga referees natin ang naiisahan ng mga players natin dito. And you do that once, you see that. Oh, it's a game official stuff. Okay, I'm gonna need a final foul. Feel like any, 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 any,
your point coach with this is getting by three point shot. Si wala pa lang ng game, po pass by Chris. Yun ang maganda. That's right, a lot of minutes here for RJ Ramirez. As we're seeing for the first time for Baco Or. We'll get back to you later on that. A step back by Ludovice Mitisyon. Ramirez with the chance. RJ hanging in the air. Deflected away by Kit Jimenez. Great uh, block there by Jimenez. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 Another one, by the lead, ends up with Sanagani. Reggie Boy, onto Gabi as he beat us for two. Just a great two-man pass breaker for Sanagani. But a great effort by Lester Reyes, unfortunately, he's not going to shoot. 29, 28, 4 points for Gabi Espina. Saragani still hasn't tasted the lead in this match. 2 and 23 before halftime. Andretti, too strong, half the way. Here's Prudente, on to Stevens. Andretti, 1, 2. Great patience on that play. Well, it started with Saragani unable to secure that rebound of that first shot. And a half after the middle of the court. First two points, but I read to see it. 31 28. Oh, he's aching in pain. Oh my god. 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 He's aching in pain. Oh Again, he's one of the best in the league. He's absorbing contact. So he used to win. He's on the contact to upper body. But he didn't select. He didn't do it. He lang ang ayaw sa mga ares. Ayano. Oh, wow. Your prime is my worst shit and my worst shit. Your best bitch. Just don't want to see the guy who's been in the mud. He's not a hard basketball player. He's not a problem. Sanga because Kit Jimenez unable to take these free throws. Kaya si Paul Sanga ayun lang nagminis yung muna. Free throw shooting hasn't worked for Sarangani in this match. Yeah. Wow. Oh. 
go, another fish. Gonna break that down during our half time statistics later on. 31 28, Steven for three, no go. Foul on the loose ball. It's gonna be against the horse. Great tap by Gabi. Forward pass, Dumaru. Two defenders to beat. And two points for Donald Dumaru. Excellent pass break, but an excellent finish here by Dumaru between two defenders. Tai hits up 31 all year. Can they get the lead? Their first lead or half point. Every day that you get to see Edsel Magisa fall down on the floor, that's also another big guy in uh, Reggie Boy Basibas. If you can hear that in the background, that's it. 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 A little bit over 50%. But those are 10 misses. And we're in Sarangani is facing what? It's a tight ball game right now. Oh, oh, oh. They were playing. They could have gotten the lead a lot of times already. Just like a 
Magisa. Low goal, rebound by Siba. Numbers here for the purple shirt. Santa Ana losing the handle. He goes down. And the ball will go to Bacor. But you gotta love what happened. Two Bacor players helping out Jordan Santa Ana in Calabar in the half. Yeah, 33-31, Saragani just could not get over that hump of trying to get the lead in this game. Time out number 4, 33 seconds remaining. Back here in the Marikina Sports Center, Pampanga, victorious in our first game versus Mutinupa. And I'd like to take this time to say hello to my uncle, Tito Bertin, who's watching our game. Uh, he's a resident of Marikina. He's actually a Siban. Uh, actually, he's a man who's a host of this. Even though they're on the... I'ma just punish you children, what? No, better shit, motherfucker. I'ma go ahead and switch this mic. Underdog in this shit, I'm right. I'm insane, you saying I'm right. Gonna go pop and jump the gun. I'ma go Phoenix like the sun. I'ma go down and run it up. It ain't over till it's done. Kick this bitch just like a punt. What you need it yet? Buy it, then receive it yet. Give it, then receive it yet. And the cheese beaming yet. I believe it yet. Robert, you put up a hearty gun between us. Fast and both seasons. You got a box in the middle. Big dog, yes. Derby, so that's like it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. No more shot at end for the Bacor City Strikers, and that will do possession ball game, 35 to 31 as we start the second half of this match. Bacor currently at two wins and three losses. Their loss in previous match, a close one against Montilupa, currently number eight in the South Division. Sarangani Marlins, number three in the South, behind the undefeated Batangas and the Buanga. They are 5 and 2 with back to back losses to their name. Nick Gomez, Chris Felipe Rivera, and Mika Abisami, Sandra Service. It's Acuna working with Pangilina, Montuado, Ramirez, and Upad at the start of the third. Mark Pangilina opening it with a 3. He started the game with a 3 point shot. Started the second half with another 3 point shot. Now the question for Mark. Ever since you've been Can you do it consistently enough throughout the half? 
Let's uh, check the graphics that we had a while ago. Mark Pangilinan already had 9 points in the first half, so now he's in double figures. Four three point shots in the same, surpassing his season average. So, I'm going to say that I think uh, league leaders. Vadim Davice was the best player of Sarangani in the first half. He proceeds to the line. He's being joined by Kaunan, Marilao, Santana, and Jimenez. I'm gonna go to Eric. Baseline drive. The feed onto a five. It's intercepted by Sarangani. I'm gonna go Phoenix like the Suns. I'm gonna go down the Vise. Look ahead. They don't have Paul Saka, the usual starter, alongside Yabby Espina on the floor. Ivan with a drive. Red Stevens checking back in alongside Estelle Magisa. By the way, it's great to see that Kitty Menis is back on the floor. Yeah, but he was walking on with a little limp. Pero tingnan natin, nung tumak po ng pass break, yung offense up nun, wala. Nung defense up, nag-relimp ka. Alam mo yun, nakakopot na ailments sa mga player. Sa defense up, may inihinda. Pagdating sa offense, okay na ako, takbo na. We actually saw that in the first game, kay Coy Alves. When he got down, he was limping. But then on the offensive end of the floor, he scored. 38-33, Kaunan at the line. Remember, the free throw shooting of Sarangani was a struggle in the first half. They were at 11 out of 21, just a shade over 50%. 38-34, Sarangani still looking for their first lead of the ball game. Stevens, inside they go. Pangilinan, and there's a foul on the floor. And that's how I think Pakor should attack Sarangani. Find Kit Jimenez, challenge his defense on, uh, on the perimeter, especially on the post. Inababantay ni, inababantay ni Sarangani. Kay Mark Pahingan is Kit Jimenez. Pakor should get Mark at the post. He knows how to score there. Almost a turnover right there. Bodies on the floor, recovered by Pakor. They have 8 on the shot clock. Panginidan, the kick out. Stevens has 4 seconds remaining. And that's a kick ball against Adrenny Stevens. Um, that's not too hard to foul him. But that's uh, a kick ball that's not too hard to foul him. Ito na nga, ilang bakor, so ball na namin sa Angali. We have 8 minutes and 34 in the third. That's turnover number 8 for the Sarangani. So that's a 13 of Bohor. So sumobra na sila dun sa sinabi ni Mika. Na-target nilang 10 turnovers lang. Pero ito nga eh. Ito yung nagbibigay ng buhay sa Sarangani. Yung tinatapon na bola ng Bohor. So just so everyone knows, Bohor had 20 turnovers in the previous game. As reported by Mika. This is their goal. Just to push that in half. Unfortunately, the second to make it and even get fouled for a four point play, just like this one. Kitty Menes, number five in the league in points per game, but he's 16. That's why Matuado fouled Keith Jimenez. Jimenez again number two in fouls received for ball game at 4.9 just behind Nico Elorde. Number four in free throws at 3.7 makes per game making it at a very efficient 74% from the field. And he is number seven in minutes. Almost 13 minutes per ball game.
Alam mo, ang problema ngayon doon sa Pinao ni Montuano Actually, it was RJ Ramirez who pushed Montuano That's his third foul At kailangan mo si Montuano, he actually played sparingly He played sparingly no second quarter Because he's already laden with two fouls And ngayon, that is his third foul dito sa third quarter And remember, dito, five fouls lang tayo Montuano is the key player for Bacoor And you do not want that happening now as Kit Jimenez finally made a jumper. His second three-pointer, no? After that three-point bomb to start the game. He's up 13 points. We're tied at 38. Pangilinan, he can't answer back. Chance for Sarangani to take the lead. But Pahor gets the ball back. Now the Marlins get the board. Yes. Wow. Well, it was a great drive by Galit. Yeah. So, wala king. Kina po sa pekus. But the Bison was short on the three. Here's Adretti Stevens. Goes all the way. Got hit in the face. Yeah. 2K19. Good free throws, man. Adretti went straight to uh, stop the shop as soon as he got up. Unfortunately, ito si itong ang player Nakapakor, no? Too many trades But uh, who was trying to get to get a card? Hindi lang humarang itong mga players sa saranggan Kaya saya So, Andretti took the drive Kauna challenged him Siya yung matatawagin ng foul Steven got hit in the face. There was a swipe in the face. As he made it up. Who looks at all of us? You know, I'm not going to be able to drop your hands. I'm going to go. I just want to grow. I want to grow. Looks like Steven is good. I want to grow. I want to grow. Ray Bendez is asking you to calm down. No closure to closure. 748 remaining in the third. And we have been treated coach with it. With a great game, we're going to go after a blowout in the first match. First to see a pump pump again. Championship atmosphere, championship game. Sarangani, okay lang na hindi tayo lumabang as long as sa dulo, lamang tayo. Lamang tayo yun. 3 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, and then Steven ends it pag isa. He will go to the line now with a 1 point lead. Sayang ang daming ganun ang pakor na pwedeng ko guys lang 2 points play. A three-point play rather than us. Mola bilang luluwa. So two free throws coming up for Edsel Magisa. Edsel Magisa. shooting very well. They only shot about 25% from the line in the first half. Yeah, the Vise will miss. Sarangani still looking for their first lead. They could not get it. A chance here for Bacoor. Andretti, the spin. Gets more defenders. Montuano now. Tapped away. Bodies on the floor. Recovered by Bagisa. Edsel leading in. There's a foul on the loose ball. It's going to be called against Saragani. Where it was. Kita, nakikita ko nang mangyayari yun because nakaka-upgirian na doon sa ilalim, ano, ang mga players. And he was boxed out. Ito si Gabby Spinas was boxed out very well by Montuano. Forcing Gabby to push him out a bit para maangat ang kamay. Yeah, wow. Baseline inbound. Take a look at the replay. A lot of action on the floor here. There's a the physicality between Espinas and Montuano. Andretti Stevens. This is the first teammate here. Espinas goes down. Bagisa, mid-range, no go. A lot of contact. Oh, some physicality here. But now, getting at it with Mark Montuano. <laughs> Yan na rin ang pilis ng atake ni Ivan Lutubice pushing out Danny Marilao out of the action And he has to push him all the way to the sideline That's the maturity of Ivan Lutubice But then again, back to back with Jason Supreme physicality here A lot of holding Parehong nagkakawakan eh Yan lang eh Not much, not much 
Ramirez, four fouls for uh, Mantuano. JR Galit, siya ang He was the one who was fouled by Jordan Santa Ana. 39-38 hour score. 7 minutes and 12 in the third. Bakoor, they led by as much as 7 points in the first half. Saragani still has it. Got the defeat in today's ball game. First free throw is good. Galit had four points consecutive ones for entering halftime. Six points right now for JR Galit. 41-38. Possibly the Celeste Reyes para makapahinga. Out of time to Philippine basketball. And the end of lock three na meron ng Sarangani. Having a uh, stable post presence like Gabby Espina. Lead down to one. But can the Marlins finally get the lead? They need to stop first. Gallis goes back to Steven. Pagisan asking for the ball. Instead they go to Pangilina with four on the shot clock. Mark has to fire. No go. Man goes down. JR got it. Here's Jimenez. The giant takes the lead, he finished! Get in one! Oh. 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 My kid the menace! That guy has been aggressive all night long in this play to give Sangani their first lead of the ball game. Showing us some 24 carats. Magic in the air. Basket and one. And his victim is oh. Letty Stevens. Oh wow. <laughs> wow. I don't know how the referee, the baseline referee missed something there. I don't know why. But there definitely was extra motion on the part of uh, Stevens. After he was being called a foul. Had that extra elbow at the end. Our baseline referee missed it. But Kim Jimenez will take it as he celebrates on the floor. Kim Jimenez giving Sarangani their first lead, 43 to 41. And I can feel, you know, tell it to see Kim Jimenez na rin ito sa ligang labas. Di ba may mga pusa-pusa pa yung mga money game ita nga? Doon talaga pisikalan. Panay dito si Kim Jimenez. And nakita mo, nung tinitira na ni Stevens, he is playing harder. Oh, oh no, 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 you cannot do that. Wow, there was wow. a punch. That was a punch by Jordan Santana. Wow, what's happening in this ball game? You eat it, yata, Jim? <laughs> wow. Yeah, he, he's he's not gonna be forgiven lightly for that one. It happened right in front of the referee and Commissioner Kenneth Derimbis. Wow, what is happening in this trade? So Galit goes down. 
And then, look at that punch, huh? Abangan nyo yung right, right fist. Oh, oh, there oh, it is. oh! Wow, wow! Yeah. I did not see anything done by Galit to merit such acts. And he was already on the floor. Sana, yeah. 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 Actually, like Bangga, yeah, meant to be flop. May flop si Galit. But I don't know why. Ano na isip ni Santana para gawin niya to? Oh! Not sure if that was a hard hit. Nevertheless, the intentions were there. Umiwas si si Galit. Hindi nag-flop on that swing. So the referees, alongside Commission again and Durendes are looking at the replay. We'll wait for the call now. Coaching staff of Sarangani and Mahoor meeting at half court. That's crazy right there. Technical fouls given up by the referees as well. Tama naman si Santa Ana. Tama naman si Santa Ana. Na nag-flop, nagbabanggaan lang. But after falling ni Galit, that is where I think it was uncalled for. Crazy. So we're awaiting the call now. The referees are talking to the coaches. Nakita natin ko John Callius, ko Trey Mendes, reaching the half court line, talking to each other. Coach thinks we not escalate even more here. Referees are talking to the coaches now. Unai security yeah. natin has to uh, keep the court secured Dahil may nakita na kung mga naka-short from the hotel ka pumasok I think that's one thing na kailangan kontrolin dito ng security natin So the way to call Go ahead and switch this mic I'm the dog in this shit I'm right I'm insane you saying I'm right Gonna go pop and jump the gun I'ma go feed this like you slice I'ma go down and run it They call that on Jordan Santana But can I go back to that last name? Keep it in it and take it even There was Extra motion at the part of Steven But the bass and every was here Even if that was a reason He said to you Remember Steven is the one who gave that That butt Okay, keeps him in it in the first half But Bruce is right by Forced him to sit on the bench Referees are going back to the replay They're gonna take more time here To discuss the call Remember, in the action on top of the key of the VC, and another person was on the floor. Yeah, maganda lang ako, mataas kamay ko rito kay Van Lee. He has been trying to keep his teammates out of trouble by pulling them away on the first sign of trouble. At least napupul away niya, but yun lang, yung kay Jordan Santana, medyo malayo si Van Lee. Hindi niya na napigilan. It happened so fast. Commissioner Kenneth Durentes, Emmer Oreta, Making sure things uh, are going to calm down as they talk to Sarangani. Referees are now talking to Richard Tapos as we await the call. Well, she called KD is just really trying to pacify, not the players, but even now the team owners, managers, and coaches. It's 43 to 41, your second game of your MBBL yeah. Friday. Wow. Six minutes of change remaining here in the third. After a blowout win by Pampanga Pampanga earlier today against Mutilupa We have been drafted by the basketball gods With a tight one here yeah. the Disqualifying foul Now let's number uh, here Gordon Santana for punching Gordon Santana is out of the playing court It's a double technical foul Between Bahor City Strikers and Sarangani Marlies For improper bench decorum All right, Jordan Santana is out of the goal game, which is not a surprise to people. You cannot throw a punch, even though it doesn't land fully on the face. There's the intention, and then the double technical on the benches of Bahor and Sarangani, respectively. Yeah, exactly. You can't swing, hit or miss. You can't swing. Period. That's not the basketball play anymore. And I think our game officials should be focused on your taking away and reprimanding those non-basketball actions. Dami nang lumang nang kanyo eh. So, 
Bitch, we're getting to them this shit. Ever heard of Don't side our head of officials, George Machino, are talking to the officials here. We're going to have to make sure that things will be okay for the rest of this game. Hopefully we can get a camera on Nika, Nikki and Ira for having a moment here at the sideline. But I'm the only thing you're happy to see with Ayo. Of course, guys. But I don't want anything to At the end of the day, this is basketball. We should enjoy it. We throw here for the JR Gallup. First one is good off of that disqualifying foul. Oh, you know, man. And there's Mika on the left side. Nikki in the middle, former NBBL court side reporter. And Ira Pablo will be supporting. Uh, Kyle Lapis in our third game for Kansas City Capitals for Kansas City MG cards going up against the Vanilla Stars. Khalid has been superb in free throw. Saving grace for the whore. When he didn't shoot, he was just a little bit of a shot. Now it's a tight ball game. 43 all, 6 minutes in the third. Pangilinan. Again on the post up against Kitty Menes. Just could not capitalize. Out of control lang si Mark Don, saya. Kitty Menes almost sliding. The spin. Almost a highlight. He gets the board. He menes for two. That first shot, fourth shot, Nikki Dimenez, that's on him. Very offensive rebound, Lana put back out, that's on him as well. Great play by Nikki Dimenez. 18 points for Nikki Dimenez, surpassing his season average. No home team today. Oh, by Sigo Dons, and then Steven Pinilahule. Three point shot coming in, wala kay Mark Pangilinan. Well, pinilit niya sa ilalim, di siya makagawa. Hindi lang pa siya sa three points ulit. Again, one of MVPS professional shooters. 15 points, five three point shots for Mark Pangilinan. Answering the basket of Kitty Menes, 46-45. Parinao, made away is short, rebound to Maru. Donald will fire, sir! At ayan na, lumakam na ang Sarangani. At pa dito ngayon magiging wiri or wari dito ang Bacor because they cannot allow Sarangani to pour it on at pag-iwanan sila. 4 points para kay Donald Gumaro. First 3-point shot in the ballgame for him. Bacor down by 1 after being on top for the whole of the first half. There's a call here against Danny Marilao. Chips are down for Bacor. Get it to your veteran. Get it to the post. And uh, let the game and the play come from there. Take a look at the replay. There's Mark Pangilina, catch and fire, three-pointer number five, surpassing his average of three three-point picks per game. And then on the other hand, Donald Gubaru easily answering back for Sarangani. That's a very easy three for Gubaru. Coming off on the defensive rebound, so he won't allow him to hang up with the other three as he was tripping out. Let's erase with a chance to get the order to get back. He hits his penalty. First free throw is a miss. 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 First free throw is a 49-47, two free throws coming in for Gabby Espinas. Here's RJ Ramirez, who had a very hot first half. 
Paolo Castro also checked in. Pangilinan, first two points para sa kanya. All of his baskets before that have come from downtown. Yeah, he caught Kitty Menes by surprise with that curl cut inside. 17 points for Mark Pangilinan. There's another foul here. Again, penalty na ang ating dalawang kapunan. Mahuli dito si Edson Magisa. Yeah, Magisa. Medyo nagbubulat sa mga tinatawag daw sa kanya. Huwag na daw akong kumamit ng kamay. Sabi niya, tago po na. Pati ito yung kay Kumaru. Looks like a two-pointer. Kaya kaya ba natin na rinitray? Looks like he stepped on the line si Kumaru. Doon sa situation niya. Yeah, tama ka, tama ka. Two-pointer para kay Donald Kumaru. He's up to four points in this game. 15-49. Yabi is being making his impact here in a very important stage of this game. Almost reaching double figures. Davide said to Kaora, chance to get the lead back. RJ, he's blocked by Kaora. Ball out of bounds, it will remain with Kaora. Great defense by Kitty Menes, great help defense by Kaora. Just bakit ang ginagawa ng mga players? Kinalasan mo ba yata na bakit ang ginagawa ng mga players? Kinalasan mo ba yata na bakit ang ginagawa ng mga players? Kinalasan mo ba yata na bakit ang ginagawa ng mga players? Kinalasan mo ba yata na bakit ang ginagawa ng mga players? Kinalasan mo ba yata na bakit ang ginagawa ng mga players? Kinalasan mo ba yata na bakit ang ginagawa ng mga players? RJ, asking for a pick. Davide is looking for a teammate. Lester, oh, beautiful feed. But great hand by Ivan to Davide. Well, I think RJ Ramirez picked up the dribble too early. Wala siyang angle to pass it actually inside. Kaya medyo bumagal yung offense na yun. Yung chance na nila pass for. Six to work with. Lester, too strong on the shot. Remember, he gave us that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar skyhook a couple of weeks ago. Kitty Menes again for three. Grabe lang din talaga. Simply, a talented guy. Just has to think to learn how to play more team ball against an organized opponent. 12 points in this quarter. Kitty Menes more than doubling his output in the first half. He's up to 21 points. Magisa taking his time and he scores. Well, with Lester Reyes and Magisa, kahit pa paano may post presence ang Bacor na pwedeng puntahan. Six points para kay Edson Magisa. Three minutes and change remaining here in the third. And that's a foul on RJ Ramirez. Free throw style para kay Ivan Ludovice. That's something RJ has to figure out. Hindi naman kailangan banggain ng banggain. There's that three-point shot by Kitty Benes who is feeding it here in the third. Couple of baskets to his name. Edson Magisa with a quick answer. For Bakumor, balik dito sa linya si Ivan Ludovice, Sarangani. At the line, now it's 20 out of 31, a shade above 63%. And then for Bakumor, 8 out of 18, a shade below 50%. It would look like no, parang ang sama pa rin ang numbers doon ng, uh, ng Sarangani. But they're talking about 19 made free throws, ang marami pa rin yun. Compared to the measly 8 right now by Bakumor. I remember, they already missed 10 free throws in the first half alone. So they're shooting a lot better here in the third. But the United Ziparillagas and the Jensen Warriors who are watching tonight. Good luck to you, Senyo. Palitayo, Edsel Magisa. There's a foul against Enrique Kaunan. Kasi ang ginagawa ni Kaunan doon parang na... Ano ba yung term doon? Parang he was trying to knee-jerk. No? He was using his knee to jerk the defender out of position. Hindi pwede yun. And now, coming in for the first time is a usual starter or uh, someone who gets a lot of minutes for Bahor, Rocky and Cedric. Yeah, Rocky and Cedric, also a mainstay na, no? a pillar dito sa Bahor program natin sa NPBL. Yeah, for us, uh, surprisingly, ngayon pa lang natin may ikitang magagamit sa laro nito. But, nevertheless, he is Rocky and Cedric. Positive game, positive game to come out. Uh, will happen, no? Pag-asalot siya ng point. We talked about uh, the shooting prowess of Mark Pagina. 
go pop and jump right, right. I'm gonna see the like shooter as well I'm gonna go down and run it up And they know what's done Remember, that's an experience like point guard you're talking about But it's why it's also be started in a mile for the whole 51, I'll make that 55, 52 Two minutes and 45 here in the third Saragani now holding on to the lead They enter this half down by four But Shiva's for three Wow that's a big three! Surprise the hat of Bahor to some three points of Basiba. It's Bahor. RJ, oh, that's a walk. That's uh, the breaks now going to the favor of Sarangani. Your big man stepping out. Ethel Pakistan, you nothing about it. That's uh, Basiba can make the three. He's having a smile with Reggie Boy right now. Former USD Growling Tiger making uh, Bako or pay on that play. It's 58 to 52. And then to make matters worse for Bako, no, not traveling pa doon si RJ Ramirez. What have you seen from Saragani that they have done well here in the third? Hey, they just kept pounding, you know, makes they kept pounding and pounding and uh, getting to the line. No, playing excellent defense actually. Kita natin turnovers and they're taking care of the ball better. 10 turnovers for Sarangani, 16 big ones for Bacor. Apat na lang, 20 na. <laughs> exactly. Paligtas, yeah. ang yeah. They had 11 in the Where first half, so give up. This is a third grade. I really got no time to play around. Wow, making beats up in my playground. See, no, uh, Babalik nga bang Bacor. Saka din ang uh, previous yeah. game performance. So the Vsip missing the first three that are after just making two. With his previous... Journey at the line. So, obviously, Coach Mitte correct me if I'm wrong, but Ivano Duvisi has really emerged as the leader for Sarangani. Well, remember when he was playing for Davao last season, yan naman ang role niya, he was uh, the leader, one of the leaders. And dito, nangangailangan ng mas pakinting leader, vocal leader, uh, dito sa Sarangani. Ivano Duvisi, Miguel Duvisi, fits the bill. And the first one to get you out of a fight. Here the MPBL. Basibas. Then on the shot clock. Ivan's back at it. Up by six. Sarangani looking to take control. Basibas pick and pop. No go. Rebound. That's a foul against Castro. We're talking about leadership. How? How can you need more than just to get to those rebounds as a point guard? Rebaso. Now he's showing his teammates. Toughness, showing teammates uh, determination. And those are the things that will rub off throughout this game. Remember, Ivano Devise came off the bench in this match. They were down in the early part. As soon as he got in, things stable down by the Saragani Martin. We talked about him being the best player at halftime for Saragani. Now, I'm going to go ahead and run it up. I'm going to go ahead and run it up. Although, we also have to try to skip him in it for the third quarter in each half. Yeah, I mean, he's been shooting the lights, he's scoring at will, and you know that he can do that. But, if you want to do this, he has kept all his teammates at bay. Making sure that he's not going to be out of control, except for the Santana, who got booted out of the game. The Vise now getting a round of applause from that one guy in the bench. As he takes a breather, but he needs to fall down. So he struggles in this game. Sanga shooting the ball, 0 out of 6 from the field, only scoring 1 point from the line. Here's RJ, top of the key, no go, went up through the board, put back is good. Wow! Alam niya magmimintes, no? pero kita mo gaano kataas, he's tied high for that offensive rebound and put back. 12 points in the ball game for RJ Ramirez, first 2 points here in the 3rd. He was our player of the half for Bacoor. Gabby Espinas against Nestor Reyes, the veteran, absorbing the foul. <laughs> just two veterans just going at it dito at the post, Lester and Gabby Espinas. But uh, alam mo naman yung pedigree na meron itong si uh, Gabby Espinas, no? a collegiate superstar. So it's prime niya. Ito si Gabby Espinas. As you can see there, the uh, sky-high rebound. I don't really got no time to play around You know, a lot of people would take it for granted No, kasama sila ni Jason Castro Sa PCU, right? Obviously, Jason Castro 
uh, evolved into the best point guard in Asia, but in their college days, Gabby Espinas was the most dominant exact player together with Arvin Santos at UAP. There you go. Yeah. Unfortunately for Gabby, he had a good career in the no, PBA, but he got really uh, an injured uh, rhythm career. Well, right now, Sarangani makes the most of what they can get, no? taking the most of what they can get from Gabby Espinas. 62 54 under a minute remaining here in the third. Sarangani with a 12 point turnaround here in the third frame. They were down by four entering the third quarter. Espinas again, two points. You have to double. And to Gabby Espinas. On the other end, RJ Ramirez looking to answer back. He will go to the line. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just getting the cup, taking it out of the stuff. But still but still able to uh, contribute and produce when it matters the most. Gabby Espinas, right? Nice points for Gabby here in the third frame. On the other end, I'm just getting the cup. I'm gonna go ahead and switch the I'm gonna go Phoenix like the sun. Giving it all. God, they know what tell us. Right now, Bahor is facing the biggest deficit. Of the ball game in their squad. Dream it, then I see it. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, Bahor, man. Save it up third. Bahor, now we see a 10 point lead. A 10 point deficit, rather. 32.6 in the third quarter. Can they make a turnaround in the fourth quarter? That is what we should buy another game. So, this is what she talked about. Sarangani is one of the best teams in the league. Number three in the South. They've only lost to Zabuaga and Batangas. Or, sorry, make that Zabuaga and Dev Garcia. We're still undefeated in the MBBL. This is what they can do as one of the titans in the league. Jimenez, the drive. Missed on the layup. No more shot clock. Got it. In and out. Pass at the last second. Ramirez with a sorry miss. Battle inside. Rocky, auto pad for two. Basket and one. Blessing in disguise. Naidi nila na shoot. Turn, but you have to credit Bakor for moving the ball around. Rocky Asidre, the veteran, making a smart play to a cutting umbad. And a great rebound as well, Malaki Junji Haliare not giving up on that play off of the miss of RJ Ramirez. Now Umbad has a chance to trip the lead down to five. And little yeah. by little, wow. naman, Bakor naman ngayon, little by little yeah, chipping now. that lead away from uh, Sarangani. Umbad at the line. First point of the ball game for the big guy. And then Stevens checking in for defensive purposes. Then second to me. Andretti will be covering it. I've been trying to find me. Out to seven seconds. Four seconds remaining here. Gumaru. Step back. Three. No go. That's gonna do it folks, a 10 point turnaround for the Sargani Marlins here in the third frame. They came in down by 4, now they're up by 6. Well, they started this ball game telling everyone this is going to be an epic matchup. Down the wire game, Sarangani starting slow, but now got their um, group back. Uh, Care of Kid Jimenez, 21 points, big 21 points. Very impressive, 8 of 8, 3 throws. We have been knocked down a few times in the game. One of the lone bright spots at the free throw line, Kitty Menes. 12 out of his 21 points coming in the third alongside that highlight for Sarangani. Our score 64 to 59 as we enter your fourth and final break. I'ma just get in the car, taking it out of the stuff, out of the vault, killing the shit is my fault. I'ma be getting the car, get it back up on the fault. Fellin' me out when I'm chasing the ball, with all of my dogs, like in the dark. I'ma just punish you, show you what, no, that is your motherfucker. I'ma go ahead and switch this gun, I'm the dog getting this shit, I'm right. I'm insane, you saying I'm right, gonna go pop me up the gun. I'ma go Phoenix like the sun, I'ma go down and run it up. It ain't over till it's done, but kick this bitch just like a punch. What you need it, yeah, buy it, then receive it, yeah, give it, then receive it, yeah.
sabi niya, unang-una, bukod sa skills, gusto ko ituro ang pagtiwala sa teammates. Pag todo ang bantay sa'yo, magtiwala ka lang at dadali nila ang laro. So, ganda, di ba? Big Coach P. <laughs> Thank you, Vika. I did not expect that, uh, that type of report, but uh, yes, after uh, his stint with Mavs Phenomenal Basketball, he has a lot of vlogs, si, uh, Kit Jimenez, 143 sub thousand subscribers, to my knowledge. And now, uh, what, what's your reaction, Coach Putin, no? Na he plans on teaching what he knows to the next generation. Let's get to that after you break this down to us. They're playing and keeping Sarangani at bay in the first half. Pero yung 33-point third quarter explosion ng Sarangani did it for them. So third quarter now they're enjoying a five-point lead right now. Okay, back to Kitty Perez. I'm so gonna start on the wall again. I have to level up, na yata. Wala meron na ako matindi competition. May kalaban sa pagkukunan ng coach puti problema ako ngayon. Yung coach puti to siya, siya mawala problema. Mas sikat si mga mas sikat yung isa yan. Kailangan mo yung partnership mo. Hindi mo rin naman at si Kit Hole Game. Kitty Perez. One of the most exciting basketball players here at the MPBL, drawing a lot of people to support him in Sarangani. Oh, oh Mark Pangalina with a big time three. That's three pointer number six for him. He's up to 20 points. Can't, go, can't keep a good shooter down. You're like a Mark Pangalina. As we talked about in the first game, if you are a shooter, the ball is going to drop for you. Jubaru, catch and fire. He can't answer back. Good rebound by Basiba. The first layup is good. Possible na ka. Pero si Basiba, ang laki rin na ito tulong sa ron ng sarangani na yun. Pangilina thought about it once more. Eight points para kay Basiba. And Reggie Stevens against Paul Sanga. He's talking to Cedric. They go to the post. Alyari. Junji with a step back, no go, rebounds to be sick. That's a good looking shot, unfortunately, like you want for Halyari. 66-62, again, Bakoor led by four after the first half. Sarangani led by six after three, after that 33-point explosion in the third frame. Asidre, they go inside to Opal against the Vises. Pangilinan for three. Another miss. One guy ahead. Gumbaro. Foul to free throw. Make sure no one has an end-one opportunity. And Rocky Sindre forgot to move his feet. Kaya inapos na lang yun ang kaliwang kamay. That's the first foul on Rocky Sindre who did not see action in the first half. Right now, extended minutes for him. Cagers. Archie Concepcion was the best player of that ball game. 20 points to his name and two dunks to the delight of the crowd. Alamo <laughs> Mix taking away that uh, dominating win against uh, uh, Montelupa. Montelupa kanina na itong Pampanga. That's an exciting team right there, Pampanga. Na yan. Yung outlook nila going into November. They're gonna be a very, very, very different team from today to November, and I, I bet you, Rick, was magiging katakutan ng kalaban ng Pampanga in the playoffs for sure. As Salyare absorbs the contact, Basipas got hit hard on the stick. To your point, though, Pampanga is number four in the North Division. That means if the playoffs will start today, they will have home court advantage. But the Pampagans does not want that they will start the playoffs They will start the playoffs They will start the playoffs Oh! They will not be there They will not be there They will not be there But the C4, the forearm of Halyare In the road area He will not be there He will not be there I think he's okay He will just be able to get the BGs Halari will proceed to the line. Okay, I'm 
need a final blow. Feel like you need me to play a defensive uh, stance there by Kaunan. Standing his ground. Balik dito si Keith Jimenez. He will replace Donald Gumaro. So it's Jimenez, Basibas, Kaunan, Ludovice, and Sanga. Andretti Stevens called for a warning. Picking a foul. He's being joined by Asidre, Pangilinan, Halyare, and Magisa. I don't really got no time to play around. RJ Ramirez checking back in for Andres Stevens who's limping right now. Then again, RJ Ramirez with 12 points in the ball game. That guy had an excellent first half. Scored 10 points to lead the way for the award. He smashed up again against Keith Jimenez. As a player, no matter what I'm saying, you have to be able to play because you're going to be matched up with a certain player. And I think RJ Ramirez has found all these ones. Yeah, 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 yeah,
former USD Growling Tigers under coach Aldin Ayo. And to your uh, point, though, they were workhorses. As now, a foul is uh, given by Junji Haliare on Reggie Boy Pasibas. <laughs> Crowd is loving the reaction of Haliare after that foul. Yes, he's out. The problem is, Kung kumak sa ulap, patalun si Basiba. Kaya parang binak sa ulap ni Hayare, mo sa person na tumalun sa ulap. So that's always a problem. Kaya tinatanong sa replay, epa binak sa ulap kaya tumalun. You know, tumalun si Hayare, ay si Basiba, binak sa ulap si Hayare. So that definitely is a problem. Dahil may natira ang bakoor, two free throws for Red Boy Basiba. On the other hand, it's only one team foul. Para sa sarangani. Talking about these two former USD Growling Tigers. Remember the great story of that squad. They only had. Uh, they were the bottom team in UAB season 18 to the season 81. They had a great push with their new lineup, new coach. Season 82 finals against uh, the Ateneo Blue Eagles. No, hindi lang maganda lang sa college game. May rivalries na organic men. 70-67. 5-45 remaining. After two missed free throws, from Reggie Boy Basibas. Ramirez. Pass inside. Almost a turnover. Ramirez. They go to Rocky. Three seconds to go. Can they fire here? Panginan for three. That's an air ball. Rebound for Sibas. Great defense for Zalagani for sure. Ang ganda ng rotation. Ang ganda ng pressure. Pakor. Just really. Medyo na pressure lang ng gusto. Forcing that shot. To the visa with the handle. Going left. Kick out. Beautiful feed. Sibas. One dribble. No go. He managed it there. Sorry miss. Battles with the rebound. Ends up with Lester is. Forward pass. Hagliare. One, two. He backs it in. Great balance on that one, two step by Hagliare. Giving Bakoor. Now a chance. 70 to 69 ito. Hindi na natin kung anong mangyari na. We have been granted by the basketball gods. A close game here in Marikina. This is not a home game. But Bakoor brought their crowd. It's like Sarangani. They have a sizable crowd as well. Here in our Marikina Sports Center. Going down the wire now. 70 to 69. Halfway through the fourth and final frame. Ask him what to call it. Say beloved. remaining in the fourth and final frame. We only have a one-point separation between Sarangani and Makoor. The Marlins have to be safe. Saka, Kaunan, Espinas, and Jimenez on the floor. And defending them, we have Lester Reyes who tried to stop Gabi Espinas but to no avail. Joining him are uh, Junji Haliare, we have uh, Ramirez, Ashidre, and Panginina. Uh, Gabi Spinas is learning backhand in time with that uh, turn around. Hand in the air na shot. The pause is. Missed right there mula kay RJ from the corner. Gabi Spinas has been very efficient at the post. You can ask for it once more. That's a foul. Kailan ang magawa si Lester Reyes? No one can stop Gabi Spinas at the post from the four. The four has yet to... A double team, my love, Peter, against Gabby Spina. 
Time out on the board. Down by three. Four minutes and 19 remaining in the board. Killing this shit is my fault. I'ma be getting the car. Get it back up on the fall. Fell on me out when I'm chasing the ball. With all of my dogs, like in the dark. I'ma just punish you children. What? No. Banish them off. Fuck. I'ma go ahead and switch this mic. I'm the dog giving this shit. I'm right. I'm insane. You saying I'm right. Better go pop and jump the gun. I'ma go Phoenix like the suns. I'ma go down and burn it up. Ain't they over till it's done. Kick this bitch just like a punt. What you need it yet? Buy it then receive it yet. Give it then receive it yet. Energy is beaming yet. I believe it yet. Dream it then I see it yet. Season every season yet. My presence is my being yet. Stop it. I'm on it. I see it. My options. I flip it and profit. I'm master. No novice. I'm just being honest. Cause I always progress. Your promise. Later my on. Yeah, the vanilla star. Chip shot down, pasok si Gabi. Give the ball to the the ball to the post kay Gabi and let him work. And uh, yeah, ganda ng nangigina guanya. If he's not scoring, he's getting fouled or he's actually kicking it out. Two open shooters. It's crazy to think, no, that uh, with the amount of mileage he has on his legs, he's up to 16 points and he's playing a lot of minutes here against Bahor. We gotta get it credit una una yeah. dyan po. Wow. Dios for maximizing and knowing how to use wow. Gabby Espina of the present. Yun ang importante nyo. They know how he is now at alam nila kung paano siya i-accommodate and to use him properly. I like that coach within Gabby Espina of the present. Kalyari cannot answer back. Sargani now slowly but surely taking over. Ang reaction nito ng Bacor eh, puting umpad. The tallest guy dito sa game na to, sa kay Gabby Spinas. But there you go, that's the double team, Rocky Asidre. Yun nga lang! That's gotta be painful for Bacor. Kitty Menes with the steal and the layup. Man goes down, that's Ramirez. Rocky has to inbound it, and that's a five second violation. Unfortunately for Bacor. May sweat spot sa ilalim na naman ng ring. Si RJ Ramirez na naman ang na-victim ah. And uh, that cost a 5 second burger from Asidre. This is the steal of Asidre but the counter steal by Kinti Menes. Great anticipation. The easiest 2 points of the night. Top 4 pass para kay Kinti Menes. And then they force an inbound violation. Saan mo kamala siya sa si RJ? Si Kinti Menes lumayap hindi na dula. A lot of uh, impressive performances coach put in by the big six. I'm just a kid in Venice, but this guy has certainly stood out. Ang maganda lang kasi kaya nakikita natin yung Gabby Spina standing out for Sarangani. Kung kailan kailangan ng score, kailan may mangyari for Sarangani defensively, pinupuntahan nila. Pinupuntahan nila. Kaya napakaganda ng kanyang contributions right now for Sarangani. Nine out of eleven from the line. He's up to nineteen points, almost a double double for me. Junji is blocked. Yun lang. Sawa nung pasa, no? Medyo minalas. But Cowan has been playing superb utility minutes. He's been doing all the the hustle plays. Ganda nung block. Yun lang. Unfortunately, natapo niya yung bola of that great defensive play. But he has to give it also. 
And he actually was the first one to approach and Liga Kaunan after that block. Getting him for that job well done. New York Red Kaunan has been hustling on the board defensively as well. Remember, Bahor led by as much as 7 in the first half. They started the second half off by 4, but Sarakani, ever since that third frame, they have not looked back. Baseline, here's a punch. Paulo Castro, can he be a smart? For Bacoor, Paulo, hook shot is good. Well, actually, it makes this guy is an explosive scorer. Ang tanong, bakit ngayon lang natin naramdaman? And that's the question, son. You know, I am not your average job. This is the best time to explode for Paulo Castro. Four points in the ball game for the former player of Paranaque. He used to be the league in scoring. Ang miss pala kay Gaudan. Chance for Bacoor to trip the lead. Three possession ball game. Ramirez, he's blocked. Matuano is there. And he will proceed to the line. Sumo pray yung halftime ni RJ Ramirez. Kaya naabangan siya dun eh. With all of my dogs, like in the dark. I'ma just punish you children. What? No. That is your motherfucker. I'ma go ahead and switch this mic. I'm the dog in this shit. I'm right. I'm insane. You say I'm right. Gonna go pop. I apologize to Enrique Gaudan, but again, a marvelous effort from him. But the Johnny Daddy by now. I go back to that point. RJ Ramirez, I'm going to penetrate you. To go from the second to the half time, to go from Papa to go from the field. Ayun, the Abutan shot, the block. Fortunately, he's going to go to pick up the loose ball. Great press to find to fake it against the defenders. Ayun, that's a big mistake. Sorry, this is the first one. Mark Maswato, one of the best offensive rebounders in the league. Four and a half per game. Number five in the team. And also number seven in fouls received. Four fouls received for game three. That guy from behind. Kid Jimenez. Alam mo, magkasama tayo ng last few days. Nag-over natin yung one, two, three, four, five players na fouls often. Nag-over na natin. What's one of complete set by man list? 78, 72, 2 minutes and 20. They go back to Gabi Espinas. He has been the stabilizer. Look at him, pound his way. Oh, what a beautiful feed to Marilao. And I'm telling you, ships are down for Sarangani. Get it to the best playmaker. And it's not the point guard, it's Gabi Espinas. Whoa, whoa. That is a charge. Foul number five, para kay Mark Matuano. Wow. Wow. That was a hard foul. Oh, I don't know if it was a foul. Tina natin, but that was a hard screen. Gabby Spinas grinding, pounding inside, beating the defense. Nalibre with a great drop pass to open teammate. Gabby Spinas, such a long thing to have in your team. That was a one-handed pass from your big guy. You talked about his passing skills early in this game. And now they force a turnover, an offensive foul against Montuano. The ball can be the answer from the shot. Cross front line for Bakaor with Bakisha in the spot. Saragani goes back to Gabi Espina. Again, calming his teammates down. The post up, the spin, basket and one. <laughs> wow. We talked about your clinic. We talked about Pete Jimenez's clinic. How about this guy having his clinic here in Marikina? Facing low post play, get him in the middle. If the baseline opens, take a spin. If it's not, Libre ang hit na. Gabby Spinas empathic. Parang yung college case. Yung pumabata, yung mga pumabata ko si Gabby. Spinas na si Preses Gabby. Si Pat Gabby na ba yan? You know what? As you get older, you pick up wiser then. And as a post player, malaking bagay na mas tumatalino kay Gabby Espinas. Has seen everything. Has played at the highest level. Gabby Espinas. Maganda. May labo siyang ganda. Growing and moving forward sa season na to. At isa lang kung nabuhayan rin. Si Gabby Espinas. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this mic. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this mic. Five foul shots. There's also a tech here against 
before the sex is working for them for sportsman-like behavior so he's in there that's the first miss for the free throw line but they're up by 10 here with a minute and 45 you gotta see that so now go to the line for his bonus free throw 8 out of his 21 points Coming in the fourth and final frame And push with it, I've never seen Yadi Shias That popped up on the floor here in the NBA Yeah, I mean, but it's a rejuvenated And I don't know if it happens to free throw Right now, make it that 10 of 12 I was thinking I need a few minutes And a free throw looks like this Yeah, but it's a hot hand Yeah, it's a hot hand 83, 72, Ramirez Yes, with the bright spot for Baco Or, ooh! I mean, that could be a three-point play, but Lester Reyes stopped it out. Don't pick up what they Lester Reyes. It might have looked like it, but I don't know. But unfortunately for RJ Reyes, ang ganda ng drive, dinuwa lang yung layup, sayang. Marila will also foul out here. Then again, as we have seen a lot of free throws in this match, that also means that dami na ring foul So, three players have fouled out. Ramirez will go to the line for two. He started out well in the first half, but has not followed it up in the second half. That's why he made up for Neo and that's a bad RJ is up to 16 points, 6 of those coming in the second half. 73-74 Or still holding on to that light here at the end of the tunnel They pull off a miracle 85 seconds to go They go back Taragani goes back Gabi and Pina Kate is wide open for 3 Wow It started with Gabi and Pina Now the defense went to locked in inside Leaving I don't see her Kitty Menes has open three supporters. Ramirez answers back, but the lead is 10 here. Kitty Menes has 26 points in the ballgame. That was off of a good pass for Larry Gabby and Spina. The Bacor has to do something drastic. Less than a minute, less than a minute. Less than a minute. Less than a minute. Kitty Menes asking for the ISO. He's going to dance with it. Kitty Menes for three. Balls away. I'm just getting it done. Taking it out of the stuff, out of the vault, killing the shit is my fault. Look at the finish. It's finishing off what Gabby's been and started. I'm a dust, like in the dark. I'm just punishing you. Gabby was a stabilizer as we met to it. He was the one who actually separated Saragani from Bakumor. With 43 seconds to go, it's an 11 point lead. Kick this bitch just like a punch. What's your media? Kitty Menes, 29 points, 5 3 points shots to his name, almost doubling his season average of 16 and a half. Number 5, best scorer in the league. Kitty Menes dancing with it, taps away, and that's a foul. That's a pleasure. Out of your place on Char Kitty Menes, throwing the ball out. And now Sarangani will be fielding his three players here for the first time on the scorer's table. And the Lucky of Bobby Day Delano as they will have 28 seconds to play. John Callos, he's going to come back to him. Kitty Menes now with 30 big points in this ball game. Came alive in the second half after scoring 9 in the first half. Of course, the people watching. 30 points, wow, it's on player of the game. That's Kitty Menes. But you have to remember, he exploded his three point shots. He's a big fan here in Sarangani. Care of Gabby Espinas. Gabby Espinas actually was the one who fed Kitty Menes with the first three pointer that he had. A couple of plays back. Paso Pito for the first time. Uli Zator. And it's Louis Momadle. Momadle is actually a homegrown. Gabby Espinas is still on the floor. Ramirez for three. That's good, lead is 11, 22 seconds remaining. Waiting for the final 
score here, of course they're gonna go to Abadle, who will miss from three. Paulo Castro, a company who Castro almost fell. Top shot, but he's out for two. Pichimenez is down. Present Gabi, as he would call him, 22.8 rebounds, 5 assists, making crucial plays at the post, always at the same angle. Whether it's making baskets, making free throws, or uh, giving out passes to his teammates, because of that, Sarangani.